right, we are here with Jamie Lee Lewis. Welcome to Five Minutes with Fatty. How are you going? Good, thank you. And thank you for having me here. Jamie, I never would do this without, you know, having you uh, supporting me and also help inspire me to do this. So I'm really grateful you're here. Um, we'll start nice and easy, Jamie. Favourite number? Seven. Ah, oh, classic number seven. Also, Jamie, another nice easy one. I'm going to ease you in. What is your nickname? It's I've got a couple because people keep calling me. So it's either the Princess <laughs> Lewis, so yeah, or Jamie, so yeah. The Princess Lewis or Jamie. I got in trouble for having her on my phone as Jamie Lee Lewis. Well, you had Jamie Lewis, so I was oh. like, that sounds a bit funny. Yeah, so I had to change it. So now I just put <laughs> the Lewis because um, she's the best Lewis. I mean, I love Jackie too. Sorry, <laughs> love love the Lewis family. Um, Jamie, wh- who is your hero or your role model? Well, my hero has always been my dad mm. um, because I look up to him growing up. Can you just tell our listeners who your father is? Uh, my dad is Wally Lewis, and so yeah, the king. The they king, call it. hence the princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, because just for to see what he had the passion for the same origin. So yeah. every time I go up, just seeing people look up to him, yeah, doing what he loves. That's awesome. But, Jamie, I wonder if you know how amazing you are and what an inspiration you are. Like, for those that don't know Jamie Lee Lewis, a.k.a. the princess, she was a elite water polo player for the Barracudas, was in the young Australian... Um, under 20s, yeah. under 20s water polo team she's completely profoundly deaf and she played at that elite level so jamie like that is inspiring to it is to me and i've told you that all the time but to so many other kids that have um you know disabilities or are deaf would i think that they need to hear more about your story because it's pretty inspiring um, and can you just tell everyone quickly on that? How did you communicate when you're in the pool? Because obviously you were off. Yeah. How did you communicate with teammates? So I'm pretty lucky to have a really good eyes because I'm always aware. And my yeah. mum said that ever since I was little, I was always looking around. Yeah. So I call my eyes on my ears because I just look around. My oh, another tattoo. My <laughs> eyes are my ears. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah. Look. And I, I was pretty lucky to have a wonderful teammates would always look at me, we'll have a single numbers so that uh, we know what moves we And doing. wasn't there a splash thing? Yeah. And sometimes I splash it back then and they say, what are you doing? We're not deaf, you can call us. <laughs> 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 that's great. I love that. That's also really advanced. Like that's, anyway, yeah, yeah ins- inspiration here. Um, Jamie Lee, what is your pre-game or your post-game rituals? Um, pre-game is that I always have a really good smash avo bacon halloumi. Bucket. Pause. What do you do the night before? No, dinner. You. Oh, I always have. <laughs> <laughs> she froze. <laughs> do I always have the dinner. So nice steak, sm- um, a little bit avo with really good veggies and sweet potato chips. So good meal. And then you yep. go again, another good meal in the morning. Yep. And then you and get I, to the game. I have to be out. My game, so yep. say we have to be at the game hour, I have to be an hour and a half. It's just me. I have to be that early. She's also OCD, <laughs> as long as profoundly deaf. Um, yeah, you, you like to be organised and that's yep. that's awesome and that's what helps take you to the next level. Um, and a lot of you girls here in level playing field, you all have that in common. You, the one percenters, you know, makes the difference. So um, I'd also like to ask you what inspired you to, well, you did talk about your dad being an inspiration, but what else um, made you decide, I want to be a professional athlete full-time? That's what I want to do. Well, I, ever since my mum said, even when I was in her tummy, I was always kicking. Yeah. So she knew I was going to be the sporty one. And then when I – sport has been a massive part of my life because it was something that I know I was good at. Yeah. And it's something that I was fit in in the world, you know, um, and because I can use that as my strength, yeah. I can get there, you know, because deafness shouldn't stop me from what I'm doing, you know. Hell yeah. Um, so that's why, because I was technically, I wasn't really allowed to play rugby league when I was young. Yeah. So I've taken up all other sports until I got older and they said, 
he can play if you wear head gear. Yeah. So then I thought, yes. Is your chance. My sport. It has always been my sport around in our family. Yeah. So well I thought, why not? Because there's all these opportunities coming along. I want to take it because I don't want what if when I get to 40, you go, oh, what if I, I should have tried that? Yeah. I yeah. want to take it while I can. And I can't wait to see you in the, um, I think it's, is it NRLW or WNRL? NRLW. NRLW. So that's your goal. Yep. And hopefully, you know, we get to see the big battle of Billy Boyle Broncos v Melbourne Storms, yep. uh, Jamie Lee Lewis. That's that's Love the that. dream, yeah. Um, and then lastly, Jamie, what would you like to tell young uh, the young listeners? What advice would you give them um, about being an athlete? I would say just never, never, never give up. You will go, uh, go over these hurdles, like no matter what goes through you. Just always look for the goal. It's always about the baby steps. Yeah. We'll ch- reach you to the goal because I've learned so much that I'm always thinking about the goal, but I never thought about the baby steps. Yeah, that's so a really good point. always think about the baby steps before you get there and just don't give up. Yeah. And always have fun. You know, you always meet the new people, new friends, and, you know. Yeah. That's and one thing about sport is that you... You definitely never give up. You've had two knee reconstructions. Your... And shoulder. Shoulder. She just has um, come back from... Or is in rehab for a broken collarbone. Dislocation. Dislocated collarbone. Um, you, you know, you have a lot of battles and you always overcome them. So it's inspiring to myself and to others, Jamie. So thank you for sharing your story and thank you for talking to me. Five minutes with Patty. Thank you. Thank you, LPF, for having me because I can't wait to see how what we will go from here working with you. <laughs> Sorry, that's great. I love it. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you.